All right, so we are taking our identification notes on dog breeds today. Uh, we're going to be looking specifically at the hound group. Uh, make sure you do set up your notes Cornell style. So the left-hand side is going to be the name of the breed. The right-hand side is going to be the health concerns and characteristics of the breed. Uh, make sure you are leaving more side on your right-hand paper because this is going to be where the meat and potatoes of our content go. Uh, so now in order to find my ID notes, I'm going to go into the classwork section. I'm going to scroll down and find ID quiz resources. I'm going to get there and then once I'm at ID quiz resources, it should be the first thing up there. Uh, there are two different, uh, there's a guardian angel basset rescue. So if you're interested in rescuing a basset hound, um, there's also some other, lots of other rescue groups out there. Um, but here's a rescue group for basset hounds. And then there's also the American Kennel Club Hound Group, so you can see all of the hounds that are actually out there. It's not just what we're going to take a look at today. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on my Quizlet link. Again, your Quizlet, um, you can use those on your ID quiz. Your ID quiz is going to be due this Friday. So I'm going to go into my Quizlet set, and we're starting with our sight hound. So we're going to talk about two different classifications of hounds. We have our sight hound. Um, so our sight hound, as you guessed, they're going to hunt by sight. They have very narrow, thin muzzles, very high stamina, but low endurance. So they're fast. They can do that quick um, acceleration out the gate, but they can't keep it up for very long. Uh, so that would be that low endurance, but high stamina. So um, they can shoot out and they can go real fast. Uh, then we have our scent hound. Our scent hound, you guessed it, are going to be utilizing that scent. Uh, they have a high endurance but a low stamina. So they're able to last for a long time right out in the field, but they don't really have that great of speed. So their speed is lower, but they're able, they're marathon runners, right? Where your sight hounds are sprinters, your scent hounds are marathon runners. Um, so they're going to be in for the long haul. Then we have a jowl, um, so just kind of be note as we move forward with dog breeds, especially our hound groups, uh, the jowl is that bottom or that droopy part of the cheek. All right, the first dog we're going to take a look at is the Afghan hound. Uh, some of you may already be familiar with an Afghan hound. They're beautiful, uh, very large. Uh, some health concerns we have are bloat, sensitivity to anesthesia, uh, parents, they have a very long feather coat. They have a curled tail with the feathering as well. Very long ears and a thin head and body. Uh, they live to be about 12 to 18 years. Size is 25 to 27 inches at the withers, and the withers are the shoulders. Uh, they can weigh anywhere from 50 to 60 pounds. So again, they're very tall uh, breed of dog, and so that bloat is because of it, and we'll take a look at it. Uh, so here we have an Afghan hound. Um, so this gray area right here is still where that chest is or that sternum. Um, and so what can happen is the stomach can flip inside of that body cavity um, and then cause the animal's gut to fill with gas, uh, which can be a very deadly and dangerous um, concern that happens. Um, and we're not 100% sure why certain breeds are more prone to it than others, but generally your barrel-chested dogs are. Uh, so we can see this beautiful feathering um, of the animal, and they're actually very sleek and slender. So um, up into here is where you're going to find the abdominal, the abdominal cavity. And then we can see that nice narrow muzzle. Next, we have a Bisenji. Uh, so your Bisenji is a hound. Their health concerns are going to be Fanconi syndrome, which is a kidney dystrophy, uh, retinal atrophy, hip dysplasia, appearance. Their ears are small and erect. The coat is short and fine. They also have a curled tail. Their lifespan is about 13 to 14 years. Their size, they can be about 16 to 17 inches at the withers. Again, those are the shoulders. Males do tend to be a bit taller, can be. And they're anywhere from 22 to 24 pounds. And again, your males are going to be larger in our dog breeds, as a general rule. So here we have a Bisenji. So we have those erect ears right here and that curl tail. 
Next, we have our Basset Hound. Um, cutest little hound ever. They're really not little at all. Uh, so Basset Hounds uh, have quite a few health concerns. Part of that is because of their wrinkles uh, or their excess of skin that causes their eyes to droop. So they can get glaucoma, thrombopathia, von Weilbrand's disease, hypothyroidism, hip dysplasia, patella luxation, and elbow dysplasia. So hip dysplasia is we're talking about the hip socket into the uh, pelvis, the patella luxation, we're talking about the knee socket, uh, and then the elbow dysplasia, we're talking about that elbow socket. So we've got hips, hind legs, fore legs, so your joints just keep popping in and out. Um, so that's not very comfortable. Appearance, they have extremely long ears, very short legs, a long body, long tail, droopy expression, right? They've got those jowls and um, very droopy face, very loose skin that causes the fold throughout ears, um, face, and legs. And so you have to be careful with all those folds that you're cleaning in between them because they can be pockets of infection or various bacteria or yeast growth. growth. Uh, lifespan 13 to 14 years, height up to 15 inches only at the withers, but their weight can be about 45 to 65 pounds. So these dogs can get fairly large, even though they're so short. Um, so they are your loo riders. And we can see all that wrinkle, um, excess skin in the paws. Their paws also um, jut out, and so when we're drawing blood or giving intravenous medication here, it can be very difficult. Uh, and definitely something that takes a lot of practice and patience with. So that's our Basset Hound. Next is our Beagle. Uh, so Beagles um, are going to have that hip dysplasia as well, also hypothyroidism and other diseases. Um, their appearance is going to be small and square. So they have a hard hound coat of medium length, so it's going to be a little bit more coarse. Um, broad lop ears, so their ears are going to be much shorter, but still lop or floppy. Uh, Lifespan is about 10 to 15 years. They're only about 15 inches at the withers or under. Weight, they should be about 30 pounds or under given their height. So we want to make sure that they're nice and lean and not overweight. Uh, so here we have a, is a beagle. So it looks similar to a basset, but it's almost the tall or not. Yeah, a little bit taller, right? And not so long version um, without all the excess fur or excess skin fold. So here is our beagle. Next we have a black and tan coon hound. Uh, so black and tan coon hound is going to be just that. They're going to be black and tan. Uh, so they do get prone to cataracts, thyroid disease, also hip dysplasia. They are a larger dog. Uh, parents is their coat is going to be short. Ears are set very low and meet the tip of the muzzle when brought forward. So that's going to be an interesting um, fact about them. Lifespan is only about 10 to 12 years or size. Uh, males can go about 25 to 27 inches at the withers, 23 to 25 inches at the withers for females. And again, we're talking about shoulder length. Uh, their weight, again, depending on their sex, also just depending on their breeding, is anywhere from 65 to 110 pounds. And here we have those black and tan coon hounds. So again, I've got black and tan. Um, those nice droopy ears. So if I were to think about this with the nice ears, this is going to be a scent hound. Um, so it's going to be a scent hound. Uh, the next is a bloodhound. So bloodhound, contrary to belief, um, they do have really good noses. Uh, health concerns, bloat again with those large barrel chests. They have hip and elbow dysplasia, eye conditions, as well as hypothyroidism. Parents, they have very huge drooping ears, loose hanging skin, and a wrinkled face. Uh, they are only going to live about 8 to 10 years given their size and their breed. Uh, size for males is going to be about 25 to 27 inches at the withers, 23 to 25 inches at the withers for females. Now their weight, definitely larger, right? So 90 to 110 pounds for males or about 80 to 100 pounds for females. Now again, there are things that will go into that variable, um, but those are your general sizes. So Bloodhound, here we have it. So Bloodhound, we have this nice saddleback um, and then the tan legs. And we have that very wrinkly, droopy face there. So again, we just got to be careful of allergies and anything that might be growing in those wrinkles. So you got to keep them nice and clean. Next we have is a Dachshund or a Dachshund or Lushund. 
Dao Xin. Um, kind of all depends on how you say it, but this is how it's spelled. So um, I call them Dachshunds, but again, there may be differentiation because it's a German breed dog. Uh, health concerns, you've got diabetes, joint problems, back problems. These are your hot dog dogs. So um, definitely makes sense to have those back problems. Appearance, they have that very long body, very low to the ground. There's three distinct coat patterns. So you're going to see a smooth dachshund, a wire hair dachshund, or a long hair dachshund. They can live about 12 to 16 years. About 8 to 9 inches is the standard dachshund at the withers, and then 5 to 6 inches is the miniature dachshund at the withers. So your weight for a standard is going to be about 16 to 32 pounds. Again, depending on the size, you do not want to have a 32 pound, 5 inch dachshund, right? Um, so you got to be mindful of that. And then your miniature dachshund should be under 11 pounds. And so here we have is the short haired. Right, so we have a short haired coat right here. We have that very long body, very short legs. So again, when you're trying to hit a blood vessel on this front leg, it can be very difficult, so it requires a lot of patience. Um, here we have is our, yep, you guessed it, the long haired coat. So we have a long haired dachshund. Um, the wire haired dachshund is not pictured here, but it's gonna look more like a terrier breed, very coarse hair. The next is a greyhound. Uh, so you guys may be familiar with those. Uh, health concerns, they are very sensitive to anesthesia. So also bloat, skin prone to tears or lacerations. So they have very thin, very thin skin. Um, they are extremely barrel chested or deep chested. They have very short, smooth coats and a long, narrow muzzle. Um, and greyhounds just are very, um, very compassionate animals. Lifespan is about 10 to 13 years. Their size is 28 to 30 inches, and then their weight is about 65 to 70 pounds. Um, so here is your greyhound, and these are your greyhounds, not to be confused with an Italian greyhound, which Italian greyhounds are uh, much smaller uh, than your standard greyhound. Uh, so we have this deep barrel chest. We know we see that pointed muzzle, so they are a sight hound. Uh, that's what gives them that speed and endurance and why people used to use them for racing. Next, we have the Rhodesian Ridgeback. So Rhodesian Ridgeback, um, they are a beautiful dog. Uh, health concerns, hypothyroidism, bloat, cancer, dermoid sinus, which is a skin and spine disease. Uh, parents, their ears are set high and of a medium length. They have a short, smooth coat with the back hair growing in the opposite direction, causing a ridge. So these dogs um, are very very for me for me i don't know why i think feel like it's a typical dog like when somebody says dog i think of an eurasian ridgeback uh, so lifespan is only about 10 to 12 years they're about 24 to 27 inches at the withers and they can be 75 to 80 pounds uh, so here we have that beautiful ridgeback right there um, so you can see it's just the fur is growing on the opposite grain they will still hand stand their hackles up uh, they can be um, on the more aggressive side or a little bit more stubborn. So it definitely takes a patient owner uh, to be working with those. Uh, but that's your Rhodesian Ridgeback. Uh, so and those are the hounds for today. Good luck on your test. And remember, you can use your ID, you can use your notes on your ID quiz and take it as many times as you want.